I still haven't gone to the Caring Plan and said I have a plan to get out of the stuff unloaded thank you i put you in one of the upstairs bedrooms i thought that would be a little nicer for you i mean the place is a dump but we can survive here yes it's uh it's great if you love alligators and mosquitoes <laughs> exactly anyway it's left at the top of the stairs and head on to the end of the landing thank you
Okay, fella. Spoken to our place. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. We gotta do something. All right. Where is she? She's a sacked out in the swamp by the water. <laughs> okay. Go on. See if you can find the law. I'll do what I can. Uh, I go about finding more help. Uh, help! Somebody help! Sooner. Oh, 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 thank the Lord you showed up when you did. Hey, that's okay. You saved my honor. Christ, what a mess. Would you please get them out of here? I can't stand yeah. to touch them, and I don't want them riding indoors. One more. Yeah, I, 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 this one's gonna, okay. uh, 
Easy, whoa. So there's something that um you can do to upgrade or something like that. Not to purchase anything with this. Bill. Oh, I wanna look here. Oh, here we go. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials and I'll be glad to make something have, nice for you. I have a snapping turtle. I have a snapping turtle. Isn't it? Oh. Not my enemies. But I want a snapping turtle. I have a snapping turtle. Surely something. Appreciate it, Pearson. You know what? Very good. We were getting low. Good job, Mr. Morgan. No, no. I see. I should. One of these missions, I should just go ahead and pick. Like the entire stream. This is going to be a certain evidence. It's going to be a. That just wasted my time. Yeah, which one? Oh, one.
Say like Oh, what? Oh God! What was my crime? Yeah. I don't know. Hey there. Have you ever heard of a man called Angelo Bronte? Hmm, no. But fancy names like that? Maybe try the Bastille Saloon. Opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Okay. Thank you. Excuse me. I'm trying to find a man named Bronte. You know the name? Bronte? No, don't think so. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Dutch. <laughs> oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here in nine. Um. <laughs> Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. Hello? I told him, I say, that's the state of Lamorne for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's a, Excuse that's me. why we love it. Born and raised. Well, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. 
for a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From a scholar. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you're in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti-eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squat, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. Thank you. Oh, hey, friend. Yo. If you'll be careful now, immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Now, this sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be... Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. Oh, thank you. Hey. Oh. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Some bad bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Look, Blessed kid, Virgin, oh, mister. Christ, Modeled on the famous yeah. church in Toulouse, which Sick. is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you <laughs> little pair of shits. Let's go. That fellow was angry. You give that back.
this. This is your last warning, boy. I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. Then, fellas, you seen a kid come through here about 14, 15? Oh, yeah, he ran right to us. Ran around the corner there. Boom! No one shot me, none. This is fun, mister. I like you. I'll kill you, you thieving bastard. Mm. Mm. What's the problem, Fred? Give me my thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, <gasps> come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Oh. You're, not, you're not gonna let me kill you. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Kids. <laughs> right. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country.
There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one's gonna get shot, Arthur. So Hi. Charm over. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here. Say my name. So we can talk about this like gentlemen. Say, say your, say your name. I feel like it's a, I feel like it's a trick to make me say something that I probably shouldn't. Hang on a second. I don't know, I feel like it's, I'm sorry, but I feel like if I say your name, it's not, I feel like it's a, like a trick to make me say something that I can't say. I'm not going to do it, because I feel like, I, I, okay, I, I feel like I can pronounce it, but I don't think it's going to end well with what it could possibly mean, and I'm not trying to or anything, so it's just like, I know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Run along now, boy. Listen, listen to Google Translate. <laughs> Google Translate. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? I got this. A couple of things out with your boss.
chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Con i soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Ti adoro. <laughs> Date da bere sti uomini. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. And let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. Blow up!
This way. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. I didn't expect anyone to rest in peace. We buried him in the ground. Is that what you want, Marston? Peace? One day. I'll go first. You stay close. We're doing this. I know, but you won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. Place is starting to make my skin crawl. More? Come on, let's keep on. I'll try this way. Sorry, sir. I had a bit to drink. My friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. I'm gonna check over here. Waking up, or somebody's trying to wake him. Okay, come on. I think it came from around here somewhere. Get in cover. Hey, John, over here. Guess we're done sneaking. You boys found my pappy's watch.
Let's find this stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on. Let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. We best stick to the side. Stick with me. Get back to Dutch. Time to go, boy. Only bandits wear masks, they say. Think we lost. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. with us he almost certainly is let's just see keep your head act normal how's he even gonna know we did what he asked i got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast like i said we'll just see where we're at oh! come on arthur how Damn it. dutch well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> And us, just simple country boys. I'm just gonna act like this. <sighs> we have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? 
I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. Oh my god. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well. The man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. Hey, they're back! Hey! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. You ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. <laughs> Don't even say John. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so? Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. He's back, all right. Hey, make some room for John there. Come on, are we celebrating? Good to have you back, kid. We missed you. Hey, how about a song? Javier, play us away. Can you sing it in English, please? <laughs> oh, Se 
ese lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ese lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegran, cielito lindo los corazones. Se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. Make sure Jack goes to bed, all right? All right. Jack, Let's be, give right. this boy a bit of space. Yeah, See you later. Good to have you back, down. Jackie. We missed you. Cuando salí Welcome back, Hermosillo. Jack. Hey. Lágrimas vine llorando. Oh, go to bed, eh? Y con la flor del tronquillo. Come on. Me venía consolando. Let me get you something to eat. Thanks, Mama. Can I play a little? Of course you can. Well done, John. Couldn't have done it without Dutch and Arthur. The old guard. A merry release, we all are. Yeah. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Hosea. Well, I'll let you fine folks get reacquainted. Hey, Mary Beth. Boy. Mr. Summer. Hey, Lenny. Hi, Miss Grimshaw. Other fast travel is available. Save. Gosh, look at Arthur in that picture.
Gotcha.